See when we have to divide a number by 9, we will try and find the quotient and the remainder, not the answer in decimals. So the method goes like this. The first digit is to be written as it is and this is to be added to the next digit. So 1 plus 2 is 3 and carry on with this procedure. 3 plus 3 is 6. So the last digit will give you the remainder and 1 and 3 13 gives you the quotient. So very simple 13 is the quotient and 6 is the remainder. Now this seems a very very simple example. Let's apply it here. Then we will take some complex examples. Say 6, 6 plus 1 7 and 7 plus 1 8. So 8 is the remainder and 67 is the quotient. Again a very simple example 67 quotient and 8 remainder. Apply it here. Now the situation will be a little bit tricky. 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. Now you see the last number. The last number is larger than the divisor that is 9. And we cannot have a remainder which is greater than the divisor. So we can subtract 1, 9 from this. And since 1 multiple of 9 is subtracted to give the next remainder that is 6. So 6 is the remainder. And since we have subtracted 1 multiple of 9, so we have to add 1 to the next number. So our answer for the quotient will be 10 plus 1 11. So 1, 1 carry. This is 7, this is 3 and this is 1. So 1, 7, 3, 1 is the quotient and 6 is the remainder. Slightly difficult, but practice of 10 to 15 minutes, I am sure you will get it within no time. Let's have some more examples. Say 5, 6, 1, 4. So 5 comes down. 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 1, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. Now see 16 is greater than 9. So subtract 9. You get 7 as the remainder. And since we have subtracted 1 multiple of 9, so add 1 here. You get your quotient, 12 plus 1, 13, 3, 1 carry, 11 plus 1, 12, 2, 1 carry and 6. So 623 is the quotient and 7 is the remainder. Likewise, we can solve two more examples. Say 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 7, 12, 12 plus 0, again 12, 12 plus 5, 17. Now see 17 minus 9 is 8. So 8 is the remainder. And since we have subtracted 1 multiple of 9, add 1 here. Now you will get the quotient 12 plus 1, 13, 3, 1 carry. 12 plus 1, 13, 3, 1 carry. This becomes 6 and we have a 2 here. So 2, 6, 3, 3 is the quotient and 8 is the remainder. One more example. So 1 comes down. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 9, 14, 14 plus 2, 16, 16 plus 6, 22. Now you see 9 goes 2 times, so we can subtract 18 from this to get 4 as the remainder. And since we have subtracted 2 multiples of 9, so add 2 here. Now you will get the quotient 18, so we will put a line here 18, 8. We have 1 carry, so plus 1, 14 plus 1, 15, 5, again 1 carry, so 6, 2, 1, so 12,658 is the quotient and 4 is the remainder. We will be dividing numbers by 13 orally. Now see when we divide numbers by 13, we get a non-terminating decimal. So what are the digits which repeat? themselves that we will be able to find using this shortcut without actually dividing. So let's take a simple example of 4 upon 13. So now we have to divide 4 by 13 and we need to know what is the 
non terminating decimal representation of 4 by 13 now see 4 is less than 13 so obviously the answer will start with 0 point and what are the digits after the decimal place now the trick for this shortcut trick for this the first step is to multiply the numerator by 7 now this is a fixed step so I'll write the shortcut here this is numerator multiplied by 7 you get x then whatever you get here just multiply by 11 you get another number and then reduce this number by 1 you get another number so these are the steps we are going to follow so 4 into 7 is 28 now we need to multiply 28 by 11 so 28 by 11 this can be multiplied using the simple trick that we have to consider 11 as 10 plus 1 so 280 plus 28 that is 308 and 308 when you subtract 1 from this you get 307 now these three digits which you have obtained here they form the first three digits of the decimal representation of 4 upon 13 now what are the next digits now you take the 9's complement. What are the 9 complement? Just subtract each digit from 9. So 9 minus 3, 6. 9 minus 0, 9. And 9 minus 7, 2. So this is the second part of your answer. And these 6 digits will repeat themselves to give you the required decimal representation of 4 divided by 13. Let's have one more example to understand this in a better way. This time we are trying to solve 19 upon 13. So 19 upon 13 when you divide 19 by 13 1 will be the quotient and 19 minus 13 is 6 so 6 by 13. So your answer will start with 1 and 6 upon 13 we can find like this. So here we have the numerator 6. So 6 into 7 is 42. 42 into 11 is 200 and sorry 462 and 462 reduced by 1 gives you 461. So these are the three digits after the decimal place and to find the remaining digits take the 9's complement 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 1 is 8 so 5 3 8 and these 6 digits will repeat themselves to form the non-terminating decimal representation of 19 upon 13 division obviously division by 19 involves a lot of steps if you want to follow the traditional method and you are likely to commit mistakes also now using the shortcut you can do it in three or four seconds only now how do you do it suppose I take the example of 8 upon 19 now see I have written the shortcut here this method is called repeated halving of numerator so we have to take the half of the numerator uh, once twice thrice and so on now see what happens is the first one here is 8 so what we do is we take the half of 8 we get obviously 8 will get divided by 2 exactly so we have 0 as the remainder so this, I am writing the remainder here and the quotient here. So remainder is 0 and quotient is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now if you put the values of remainder and quotient in this, you get 10 into remainder, 10 into 0 is 0. So obviously when the remainder is 0, just take the quotient and divide it by 2. So in the next step, you have to divide the quotient again by 2. So 4 divided by 2 again remainder is 0 and 4 divided by 2 the quotient is 2. 
so whenever remainder is zero just divide the quotient by 2 again so 2 by 2 again it is zero and it is 1 now in the next step the things change so situation changes here now what happens next is when you divide 1 by 2 you get a okay i'll write the next step here because i think it's not visible so when you divide 1 by 2 so obviously 0 uh, quotient has to be 0 and 1 is the remainder so if you put this value remainder as 1 and the quotient as 0 here you get 10 so 10 by 2 is now 5 and you can repeat this now 5 by 2 is remainder is 1 quotient is 2 and now you can carry on with the procedure like this so see there are lot of things you are getting here so what are the second numbers see 4 2 1 0 5 2 so this is the order in which you will be getting your answer so 8 upon 19 will be 0 point obviously 8 is less than 19 so 0 point and now write, keep on writing these digits 4 2 1 0 5 2 and now you can go on and on and find the value of 8 upon 19 to any number of decimal places by repeating this procedure over and over again let's have one more example to understand this procedure in a better way suppose we have 12 upon 19 I'll write the answer here 0 point something now see 12 divided by 2 gives a remainder of 0 and quotient 6 6 divided by 2 gives a remainder 0 quotient 3 3 divided by 2 gives a remainder 1 and quotient 1 now if you put this here 10 into 1 plus 1 11 so 11 by 2 gives a remainder 1 quotient 5 again put it here see 10 into 1 plus 5 15 so 15 by 2 gives remainder 1 quotient 7 now if you put it here 10 plus 7 17 so 17 by 2 1 and 16 by 2 is 8 so see you are getting these digits and now you can repeat this procedure so the answer will be 6315788 and so on so the answer for 12 by 19 is 0 0.631578 and so on so you see students division by 19 can be as simple as that and all the digits after decimal place can be found out using this simple and amazing shortcut so if you like it, share it and subscribe to the channel.